Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing about true and false. So I'm just going to open about true and false and I'll close the old file we're working on. So here we have, uh, we're defining a truth value and then we're passing in a condition. So if the condition is either whatever the condition being passed in is, then we say true stuff, else false stuff. Cool. So this is a method which kind of makes it so that we can tell whether or not uh, something's true. So truth value is true. Well, then so yeah, truth value is going to be this guy, right? And so truth uh, value, if we don't pass in a parameter, we get incorrect. But if it's true, we get true stuff. And if it's false, we get false stuff, right? So here, here I pass in the condition of false. And then if our condition, which is false, well, because false won't render here, we get false stuff. So if we pass in true, we get true stuff. And if we pass in false, we get false stuff. And uh, test nil is treated as false too. So if we pass in nil, okay, so <clears throat> what can we say? Uh, print nil renders with false if nil. Nothing happens, but if we go if uh, true, we get nil renders with false. So that tells us that nil <coughs> renders false. So nil will get, if we pass it into the truth value, which is this guy, <coughs> the condition becomes nil, and therefore our return value is false stuff. False stuff, cool. And so, and then we wanna test everything else is treated as true. Test everything else is treated as true. So yeah, one, passed in here as a condition. If one, then we get true stuff. This is uh, pretty interesting about Ruby, that it um, gives you these sort of, it implies that any sort of um, value being returned is true stuff. Um, so zero, I think that that's gonna be true stuff as well. Um, I'm pretty sure an empty array is going to be true stuff. True value, a parameter like that. I think it's all going to be true stuff. Uh, a full string is definitely going to be true stuff. And uh, true value, an empty string. Um, print empty string renders true. If um, truth value is equal to an empty string an empty string return is true. So yeah, this is all just true stuff. The name of the method gave it away with this one. I would have thought that maybe zero would be false as well, but apparently everything has a truthiness. That's the, the idea of truthiness, that if you pass in if an uh, empty, empty uh, object, then you get true stuff. Um, so yeah, let's save that, and we can run our rake command, and we'll see if we got them all right. So here we see that about triangle project is our next one and that has uh, wrapped us up for this one. So this is the way that this works. This just shows you that you can kind of, yeah, I guess it just shows a little bit more about true values and how you can test them to see if they're true or false. Um, I wonder what would happen if you did negative one. Empty string returns true. Negative one even gives you a truthy value. So that's kind of a different thing in Ruby than in JavaScript. In JavaScript, a negative one, I think, would give you uh, that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.